Hello, hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create a um, horizontal salary structure chart with Power BI. So as you see from this uh, video that I published in the past, I showed you how to uh, actually do a variation of horizontal salary structure bars in Excel. And um, like basically you can see this is like the job grades, this is the minimum, this is the midpoint, and this is the max. So now, like today, I'm going to show you how we can actually um, do it in Power BI to make it to be something like this. Okay, so let's get started. Um, we are going to use uh, Charculator. This is the link to it, which I will also link in my description. And then let's use the sample data set to use uh, to to do it. So this is my sample data set. I have my job levels and um, I on purposely made it a tax format instead of one, two, three, four, five, because um, this might be the case when we actually use job grades, like we might not always use numbers as our job grades. And uh, I have my minimum, my mid and max, and then they are li lined up here. And then I also save my file as seller structure CSV. Okay, cool. So now let's go back to um, our chart, uh, sorry, to this link, and then let's open our file, which is salary. So it looks like it's numbers for all the mean, mid, max, and then the job levels is string. That's fine. Okay, go done. And then, okay, so now we are in this chart. The first thing that we need to do uh, is to drop the levels. So the level will be our Y axis because this is a horizontal uh, chart. And then let's actually shrink this. So this is actually like an enlarged format of this part. So if we shrink it, shrink it, shrink it. Uh, so this, those four squares are actually the four squares that we're seeing here. Okay, so now the next step for us is to add a data access. So to do that, you click on the data access and then make sure you line it up here. Okay, so then it's going to look something like this and then you click on it and then make sure that it goes down. I think it goes down to the end. And then what you need to do is to go back. Yeah, go back here for your data access. This is your data access. And then drop your um, minimum mid and max onto the data access. So now it has a minimum um, to the max. And then which is this range. If you are not happy about those automatically generated range, you can always define them as what you wish by overwriting them here. Okay, so this is how my... Um, X axis is going to look like. So now let me enlarge this a little bit so I can actually see it more clearly. So now actually what I want to do is to create bars for those minimum, mid, and max. So to do that, I need to select the rectangular mark and then I, I'm going to draw a bar, which looks like this. Uh, and this is also aligned with my mid. And then this is my shape one. I'm going to name my shape one as mid so that I don't confuse it later on. I can also change the color of it. So for my purpose, I'm going to change the color to um, some kind of orange or actually a lighter orange. Yeah. Okay. So this is my mid. I'm going to create a max by selecting the marker again and then drag it to where it aligns with the max so then yeah this is the bar that we have it's the shape one i'm going to rename it as max and i'm going to change the color to an even lighter uh, orange which looks like this and then i'm actually going to move it up yeah, so when you change the order, you can see that you can actually see the max side of it and then the mid is here. Okay, so now let's do one more rectangular which aligns with the minimum, which will show as this one. And then for this one, I actually wanted to name as mid and then I want it to be filled as white. So it's gonna show as 
those floating bars. Okay, so now this is how it looks like. Um, and then you can also change the transparency of it. For our purpose, I want it to be white, so I'm not going to change it. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm, I want to add um, the label to it. So to add the label, actually, what you need to do, uh, you can enlarge it a little bit so that you can position it better, um, is that you click on the text. And then again, you go click in here. It's going to show a text box. And then for me, I'm going to override it to where it is. Okay, yeah. To I'm just going to override it with the line. So it's all aligned, as you can see. And then I'm going to drop minimum as my text. So it shows like this. So let's say um, I, I want to have no decimal space. I'm going to change it here, text one here, and then to zero. And then I'm going to add a thousand to it, add a K, and then enter. And then my text will be changed. And then for this text one, I will name it as minimum so that I don't confuse myself. Uh, I mean value. Yep. And then it's going to show as this. And then we do the same thing with our mid and max. Uh, yeah. so, and then for me, I'm dropping mid here, change it to zero, adding K. Yeah. And then do the same thing with my max. where you want it. Yep. And then just to make it absolutely clear for myself, I'm going to rename my labeling. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, actually one more thing I want to show here is my data access. Let's say I want to show it here. So what I will do is I make it visible and then for my position, I do opposite and then I can see all my labeling here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, my last step is what if I'm not happy about um, the width of my bar? What if I want it to be wider? Then what you can do is to go back to this chart and then just select your rectangular and then adjust them to whatever lens that you feel most appropriate. So maybe something like this. Um, okay, so for my purpose, I'm just going to align it, make it slightly narrow. And then let's say this is what I like um, as the final deliverable, then I'm ready to export it. So I'm going to export it as a Power BI custom visual. Uh, for my mapping slot, I'm going to just say level or like you can say category. Well, actually, let me say category. And then for my minimum and mid and max, I think that's pretty straightforward. It doesn't have to be in thousands. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, that looks good. I want to enable all the drill downs. And then for my visual, I'm going to name it as salary structure horizontal. Okay, cool. So this is how it looks like. And then uh, you can also customize an icon, uh, icon to it. So for example, the icon that I chose was this one. And then, yeah, and then that's how it looks. And uh, I go to Power BI, I save it. Um, well, actually, I'm going to just say that salary structure horizontal, save it. Okay, so now I have saved it and uh, uh, let's go back to my Power BI desktop. So um, to actually show you how it looks, I'm going to put up the Excel data. So I, I'm going to just paste this data into Power BI to make it easier to show. It's going to look like this and I'm going to name this salary structure load. So that you can see the data is loading. And then my next step, 
is to import my visual, which I have just created. It's gonna look be named as cell structure horizontal. Import successfully, and you can see the icon here. That means it's ready. So now I select it. It's shown here. It's asked me to input the category, my main da 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 da, and then so that I will just put my levels here, my max, my mid, and my minimum. And uh, here we go. So here is the. Power BI chart that we were just talking about. Of course, you can customize the title. For example, if you Power BI already has a title, if you like it, um, you can keep it, or you can also just keep the cell structure text title and then get rid of the Power BI title. And then you can also change the color of your bars. So let's say um, I don't like this orange kind of color. I will. You can just go to the fill. Go to max and then change your color to let's say blue, and uh, it's gonna change to blue. And then for your mid, you can change to a darker blue or anything. Yeah. Okay. Great. So this is how you can actually create a horizontal bar, floating bar chart, um, which we use for uh, for cell structure in Power BI. I hope that you find it helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.